This is one Lego motor. As you can see, it sounds very weak. I can literally stop it with my hand. And this is eight Lego motors. And they sound like this. Today we're gonna take all these motors and battery boxes and combine them to make the world's strongest Lego motor. And then we're gonna run a bunch of experiments and tests with it to see how strong it actually is. I have no idea how we're gonna do this. <laughs> so we need to create a circular shape and then we're gonna connect gears to each one of these and each one of those gears will connect to a central gear so that all the power from each motor will be converted into one central axle. It will be essentially a giant version of one of these. So let's test something. All right, say we do this and we put two of these axles in here and then we connect those to this gear right here. In order to connect those, all we have to do is put a gear right here. And now that spins. And now we need to build three more of these to put on the sides. And so we'll have a square of motors that are running with a gear on the inside. <laughs> Perfect, okay, now we have four. Okay, now. That is perfect. And then, drop that in, drop that in, drop that in. <laughs> I'm kinda scared, this is gonna be, it's probably gonna be just a little bit dangerous when it's running at full power. We need to put a couple gears in here and then attach a central gear. I'm shaking, I'm a little, I'm a little freaked out. Don't do this at home, by the way. And again, we're not trying to increase speed, we're trying to increase torque because we can do whatever we want with speed if we use a gear ratio on the other end. Right now, we're just trying to fix the motor part of it. So, all right, we got those locked together. We got all the gears in there. Those aren't going anywhere. Now on the inside of this, let's grab a piece. These cables are annoying. Put that right there and that'll give us a little bit of something to attach stuff to on the inside. Let's put one on each side here. At some point I'm going to put on eye protection because this thing is going to get dangerous. And by dangerous, I mean dangerously powerful and dangerous gears spinning fast that could pop off and hit me in the eye. Now, main gear goes right here. So we've got to figure out what size of gear we can put around that. So if this one's, if they're all rotating this way, I think that's gonna work guys. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm so scared. This is not a good idea. Let's see. Moment of truth. Eye protection. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Yo, it actually works, let's go. Wait, how strong is that? Let's throw this Lego tire right here. And if I can grab the tire, then it's not that strong. Okay, so we gotta reinforce it quite a bit before we can actually see if this is the strongest Lego motor. This is promising though. Okay, so the little bushing came off of this. So we're gonna replace this with a longer one. And then we're gonna put a bunch of these yellow things on because the more of these you put on, the harder it becomes for this thing to move around. Okay, throw that right there. Too much power is going through. Yeah, three just turned off. Yo, I just realized we just completely twisted this axle. <laughs> Look at that. That is insane. The question is, how do we get it to be more powerful? Because we have eight motors running in it, but something about how we arrange the gears, I don't even know. As with every great project, we need to figure out some issues. All right, I'm about to call my friend Marcel from Astonishing Studios. He is an engineer, so I'm hoping he can help us solve our motor issue. <laughs> Okay, so I bought eight Lego motors. I'm trying to build the strongest Lego motor, but I'm running into a problem. And I'm trying to figure out how I can maximize torque with the gear setup. The way you maximize torque is by trying to get the fewest rotations at the output for as many rotations as possible at the input, right? So say if you put like 10 rotations into a system and it causes one rotation at the output, you're getting like 10 times the torque there in theory. So what I need to do is make these gears little gears and then this a big gear to a big gear. Am I correct? Essentially. Nice. Okay, cool. I'll work on that. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, go check out Marcel from Astonishing Studios. Link in the description. He makes some sick food automation machines, so check him out. The next step now is to replace all the gears that were attached to the motors with smaller ones and hope that works out. Okay, so we just replaced those gears like Marcel said we should with these smaller gears. I'm thinking this is going to be a lot more powerful. We're most likely going to have to reinforce all this, but here we go. No. We just like busted the inside of this wheel. 
I mean, what could I really expect? I asked an engineer, it works. <laughs> okay, let's reinforce this again, and then we're gonna attach one battery box to each side, I think. <laughs> um, we really don't wanna strip any of these gears, but that's what it's coming down to, essentially, is just the power of the gear. So, yeah, let's reinforce again. Okay, so we got four cables coming out. It's quite a bit sturdier than it was, quite a bit larger. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to reinforce these edges right here because these things are gonna wanna pull apart. So the way we're gonna do that is like this. All right, now it is very re-sturdified. That's not even a word. Now we just gotta attach these four battery boxes to the motors. <laughs> Yo, I uh, hear something cracking. I am thinking this is one of the strongest Lego motors in existence, or if not the strongest Lego motor. So let's put this thing to the test and get some things that are hard to do to see if this thing can do it. You can see I also added this big button on this side and that allows us to turn on each of these battery boxes independently, like this, or all at the same time, like this. I think this thing's gonna work really well. I reinforced the front. Let's go do some tests to see if this thing actually works. All right, the first test we're gonna do with this comes from Lego Joe. They say, see if it can lift 100 pounds. So that's what we're gonna do with this box is awkwardly here, but there's a hole in it right here. So the plan is to have this thing right here and then a box on this side and a pulley to see if this thing can actually lift. So we gotta build that up real quick and then we can test it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if this can actually pick this up we're gonna turn it on, first test, five pounds. Hey, five pounds successful, let's go. This is coming undone, oh, I see. We gotta fix this up here, but it can lift five pounds to start. Test number two, 10 pounds, here we go. We're good for 10. Oh gosh, oh it's bending so hard right now. Okay guys, that time it lifted up 10 pounds. Let's fix this and then try 20 pounds. 20 pounds is heavy stuff, you guys. I don't think this is gonna, I don't think this is gonna work. I am definitely glad I'm wearing eye protection though. Okay, here we go. 20 pounds in three, two, one. Yo, we totally did it, let's go. I think the notches came off, that was, I. Are you kidding me, that was it? I'd say success, 20 pounds, it lifted it like this far. This is pretty strong. All right, so in conclusion, can it lift 100 pounds? I'm gonna say no, but it can lift 20 pounds and that's a lot of weight. Uh, that's pretty insane. Here we go. It weighs two pounds and nine ounces for this entire thing. That's actually pretty heavy. The next test we're gonna run is to see how long of a gear train we can make by gearing up so that it'll go faster and faster before this thing just can't turn the gear anymore. It's already spinning a little faster, look at that. Now we'll just add more. All right, here's three. As you can see, it works with three gears. Let's try more. Getting harder and harder, here we go. Dang, that is spinning. I don't know how many RPM that is, but eventually I'll do the math and it'll be right here. Wow, that is also very loud. Look at that, it's gonna fly up and hit me. I wonder. <laughs> it's still spinning. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more of this. Okay, at this point, this one over here will not even turn. We gotta hold this motor. It's really hard to determine how strong this is. Problem is that the axle is just coming out of this little hole. This motor isn't stopping. I just can't get it to hook onto that. No matter what we do to it, it's just bending the axle. The motor is more powerful. Like, I can't figure out a way to stop this motor. With all four segments running, I can't stop it. We just bent the axle. This motor is unstoppable, you guys. These things just broke. I think if we get like more motors in each of these, we could literally make a rideable Lego car. All we need is metal axles. It has enough torque, I think, to run like a car you could ride on. I think there's only one thing left to do with this, you guys. Guys, make sure you click this video over here. That's a video that YouTube recommends specifically for you. Comment down below if you wanna see something rideable built with these. I'll talk to you next, Brick Science. What am I doing? <laughs>